uh, defensive dispel. They might be able to hold it on just long enough to so we so we can see the end of this. Four day is just basically going to have infinite mana here. Here we go. He's going for a summon. In flames is getting a summon. Oh, oh counter spell. He doesn't manage to though. <laughs> Another responding with a counter spell. So lots of pillar action <laughs> going on here. Another trying to keep in flame under enough pressure so that he can't unleash that CC and that damage. He's got him in a deep freeze. He is broken out of it. And then Flame and Forte just working so closely together. It's sort of almost as though they can predict what they're going to do because they've had so much practice. And in Flame managing to open up a small window of opportunity to try and get that re summon on, but he doesn't manage to. In Flames canceled that summon prematurely because he thought it'd be interrupted, but I'm not entirely sure it would have been. I don't think the priest had fear up and the mage was out of the picture at the moment. Right, and Flame using a Howl of Terror onto another and a really, but he's also making use of Curse of Exhaustion here. And how do you think Curse of Exhaustion could affect the outcome of this 2v2? Oh, Demonic um, Portal is used. Curse of Exhaustion is going to be useful for uh, allowing them to get some drinks in if they want to let the pally kind of get away. So in and flame. prevent them from getting drinks also. Yep. So in flame, trying to get fear off onto another. It's not going to happen. Another responding with a poly, which he does manage to land. Forte trying to get back around the pillar to dispel that poly. But let's take a look at another's perspective. He's got Inflame targeted at the moment. He does use Mirror Image, actually, and the Watermelon There's Elemental is up at the moment. So this indicates that it could be time for a Burst Nuke onto Inflame. A really also helping out with uh, some Holy Fires. And Inflame taking so much damage, but Forte yeah, managing portal. to keep him up. And that was incredible from Inflame with the Demonic Portal usage. Yeah, I think he almost outranged his Demonic Portal there. He got back in range just in time. And he just can't manage to get that pet up. He's trying ever so hard to summon, but another is always keeping track of what he's going to do. But finally, he's back around another pillar, and another might not latch onto this, but I really does. So here we go. Will we get the summon off this time? No, nope. I really using that fear. He's going again this time, and I really doesn't have. Oh, he's got a mind control, and here comes the mage. Ooh, he is counterspelled, and he's not in a good position to get Howl of Terror off on both players. He's just sitting in a deep freeze. Another's going to get a poly off onto him and try to do some damage onto Forte, I assume. No, in fact, he's going to try and go for a drink. Forte keeping them both in combat with some melee. Oh, here we go. Another demonic portal down, and he uses it straight off the summon. bat. Summon Fell Hunter is going to be counterspelled by another. Had to rebuff his um, fell armor there, just indicating how long this uh, 2v2 has been going on for. Yeah, I think he swapped the fell armor because the uh, increased healing and, and, and also the uh, increased armor isn't really going to help him in this situation. Fell armor is going to give him more damage, more pressure, and more longevity. He so just got Al a double fear here. Owl of Terror going to come out from Inflame, and he's was sitting in a deep freeze. Another does have his cold snap on cooldown, but soon it's going to be ready, and that could be the moment that they decide to go for a nuke. Another great demonic portal from Inflame. He needed support from Forte there. They've gotten a fear followed by a sheep full duration. Right. So this could be nuke. Maybe another just waiting for that cold snap to be ready. And. Curse of Exhaustion onto a really could mean that he gets the Fell Hunter oh. off and another managing to counterspell it just at the right moment. That was very close. If that had happened, this could have been uh, a much closer game. It looks like uh, In Flames and Forte, they're not going to be able to put out a lot of pressure. They're not really going to win this game until he gets a pet out. They just don't have the damage. However, given the fact that Demonic Portal is so great for surviving in these situations, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to create an opportunity to kill in flames. So seemingly, this game could go on forever. It could. Some and Fell Hunts are coming in, but another going to respond with a poly again, just in the nick of time. And Forte is just playing so solidly with those dispels onto Inflame. He's constantly aware of the situations that Inflame is in. 
And Inflame is trying to use his demonic portal to get this resummon off but it just doesn't seem to be working. And of course, that pet is hugely important for him, not only because he'll be taking less damage, but also uh, because of the spell lock. And he was actually sitting in a mind control for a few moments there by a really, I'm not sure what the tactic was. Health keeps ticking away, and in terms of mana, a really sitting at 8.4k, Forte sitting at 8k, so both at a similar position. Yeah, Inflame's damage just isn't enough. He's focusing so much on getting these summons off that uh, O'Reilly is really able to just regen oh, more one. And damage. look at this. Forte managing to get a res onto Papercat, and that could be the end of this game. Papercat getting a few ticks of bandage in. And look at this. He's popped his Cloak of Shadows, and they're going to go for the nuke onto another. They get him down. And yet again, we see another game determined by the ingenious of that res from Forte.